Hey fellow YouTubers, so a subscriber left a comment saying, could you make a video addressing um, your preparations and what you'll be bringing and how you'll be packing and why? And I forgot. So I was gonna make a real brief video right now. I just wanted to travel light. And so much of my stuff is just shoved into a, a 10 by 20 storage bin that would take me forever to locate. I couldn't find the, the shears for my head. Couldn't find a lot of stuff. So I'm packed in real light so that I can have lots of room to sleep in my car. So the one thing that takes up the most room is a nice lawn chair. But it's just so great when you pull up in a nice area to just open up your car, pull out that lawn chair, and not be restricted to seating, sitting in the same type of seat that you've been sitting in for the last three or four hours straight. Um, and I think with that posture of a nice lawn or beach chair comes that psychology of just relaxation. Um, so that, literally one pair of jeans, one pair of shorts, three pairs of underwear, three pairs of socks, and uh, it was two t-shirts, one a collared shirt and one a, just a t-shirt. I bought a Death Valley shirt. Um, actually, I didn't buy it. I was getting souvenirs for my kids and um, getting one or two items for myself. And I had the shirt thrown over my shoulder. I forgot it, that it was there. And then I get outside the store and it's like that uncomfortable moment of, should I bite the bullet and go back in? And it kind of looked like I was trying to steal it and I had pangs of guilt. So you end up looking like you're trying to steal something versus just keeping the $24 shirt and uh, not having to suffer those, um, those judgments. Uh, so I know that's probably wrong of me that I didn't go back in and pay, but... Anyways, um, <laughs> sorry for a little sidetracked, but um, I didn't bring any oven. I didn't bring, um, I brought uh, two hats, one baseball hat and one like rugby, English style rugby hat. Um, two pairs of sunglasses, one toothbrush, one traveling toothpaste. And, um, you know, I brought a bunch of uh, razors, but I didn't bring the handle that connects to them. And it's a Mach 2, and now they mainly just focus on Schick um, Mach 3. So, and they're not the same setup. Once you know, they got to make a different connecting point, con the way it connects, male and female. Anyways, I'm kind of just rambling on. So that's all I really brought other than a tiny ice chest. And then I bought a nice leather hat because I had one for years and I misplaced it. For backpacking, they're great. You can tie a handkerchief around your head to soak up some of the sweat. And then you put the hat on too. Um, if you're ever in a survival situation, you can fill it with water and then um, boil some rocks and drop the rocks in there one at a time and it makes the water boil so that then, then that water would be drinkable. Um, just, just mainly the shade and I love the way when it gets wet from the sweat, the way it just fits better and better each usage. Anyways, God bless, love you guys. That's my stuff, not too much, just traveling light, I got a big bed that way. And you know, there's laundromats everywhere. So I just got one big bag of dirty clothes and my luggage with my clean clothes. Talk to you guys later. We can't have any misinformation going around. I also brought uh, one black long sleeve polyester shirt, this panel tin and this corduroy Levi Strauss Western style jacket. And there you have it. And three beanies and a pair of fingerless gloves that I seem to have misplaced now. And just a pair of riding flats, I mean, um, tan leather riding gloves, no liner, just plain simple leather gloves. Sure, I forgot something. So this is a big lake and this is basically Pine City Campground. There's little campgrounds mixed right in here. Here's um, some restrooms right over there. So this is, we've been walking for about 45 minutes. Ozzy's kind of cold. So we're gonna turn around, pack it in, and then go around. I might go buy some new shoes. 
down at this um, new hiking shoes for my help me get over this um, plantar fasciitis because I'm just wearing regular hiking boots with a tiny little insert for the heel. But when I get a new pair of Solomon hiking boots, um, the support and the heel being so concave seems to give me um, the best relief I've found. And only while the shoe is kind of like two or three months and then after that, it's not quite as supportive, I guess. Anyways, it's a beautiful mammoth area. Now, see Pine City Campground, it is uh, closed right now, obviously, but um, but I would like to come back and hang out there in summer. You know, in summertime, this uh, mountain has become a huge resort for mountain bikes, and you have the chairlifts. I could see biking in with your dog, and then um, you know, if you got someone to stay behind with the dog biking over to the ski resort and um, using some of those chairs. I mean, you'd have to pay it, obviously. Technology, there's no way around that these days. Anyways, beautiful area. Check it out if you get a chance. Leave a comment if you've been here and loved it or if you want to come. Hit like, dislike. If you hit dislike, make sure you hit it twice.